Boys and girls, welcome back. I'm so excited today because we're going to read one of my favorite stories of all time. This book is called Nuffle Bunny. And if you've never heard Nuffle Bunny, it is so good. And if you have, don't worry. We love reading books over and over again. Whenever I'm reading books, sometimes I read my favorites over and over and over again. And that's what you can do here too, is you can listen to it. Because every time I listen to a story, I hear something new that I didn't hear before. So I picked out my reading buddy early before we sat down because my reading buddy goes right along with the story today. My reading buddy is Nuffle Bunny. There he is. Hi, guys. And Nuffle Bunny is going to read with us today in the story called Nuffle Bunny. Um, you guys can pause the video now and go find your very own reading buddy to read with. Um, like I said before, you can pick animal, your favorite toy, even a Lego creation that maybe you've been making while you've been home. So go find your very favorite thing to read with and um, come right back and push play. We'll be ready to start. Daddy, run! Run away! No, he's nice. You have a nice daddy? Yeah, and a nice mommy. No, I don't believe it. How long have you had a daddy and a mommy? I just had them. Since forever? Yes, forever. Hey, um, I want to hear a story. You want to hear a story? Well, we have one. We have a story? Right now. No way! What's it called? Knuffle Bunny! A cautionary tale by Mo Willems. We open up, and what's the first picture? They're getting married. Do they look happy? Yeah, why are they throwing rice? Because that's traditional when you get married. Oh, and what's this picture? They have a baby. They have a baby, it's going wah! And, and, and look at this picture, what are they doing in this picture here? They give me a baby a ride. They got a baby ride and they're in front of a house. It looks like they just bought a house. And then what's this picture? A Nuffle Bunny with Trixie. They're here, Trixie! Here's Trixie! Not so long ago. Before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the rock. Through the park. Past the school. And into the laundromat. <laughs> oh, Trixie. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. got to put the money into the machine. You notice anything that Trixie might be missing? Any picture clues you're seeing? Boys and girls in this story, what has happened in the beginning of the story so far? Tell your reading buddy what you have noticed happening so far in the story. Nuffle Bunny says that Trixie and Dad have gone to the laundromat and they're washing some clothes. 
and Trixie notices that, or and Nufflebane notices that Trixie might have left him inside the washing machine. Oh no! Let's see what happens next in the middle of the story. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, quabble. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Aggle, flaggle, quabble. Said Trixie again. Flaggle, flabble. <laughs> Won't be flappy? Now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. She went boneless. <laughs> Boys and girls, I love that word boneless. By looking at the picture, could you see what boneless meant? The author used a really cool word to make me think in my head exactly what that means. And the illustration matched it perfectly. Boneless. What do you think, Nuffle Bunny? What do you think boneless looked like? What do you think it's like? Oh, yeah. And when kids just get where they can't even move and they fall to the ground and they don't want anybody to pick them up, my kids have gone boneless on me lots of times. Boys and girls, can you think about what's happened here in the middle of the story with Trixie and Dad? Tell your reading buddy what you think has been happening in the middle of our story. If you said that Trixie's trying to tell Dad that she's missing Nuffle Bunny, but he can't understand her, that's exactly right. Let's see if Dad ever figures out what's going on with Trixie and why she's so upset. Let's see what happens at the end of the story. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy, too. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, Where's Knuffle Bunny? Huh? <laughs> The whole family ran down the block. And they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school. And into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Knuffle Bunny. And looked. And looked. And looked. But Knuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Poor Trixie. So, Trixie's daddy decided to look harder. Until... Yay! Oh, they understood and those her! were the first words Trixie ever said.
You like that story? Yes. Good. I like it too. What's going on here? Mm, look at Trixie. Trixie and her daddy and her mommy, and they're walking back home. And do they look happy? Yeah. And she's holding her mommy, and daddy's holding Trixie, and Trixie's holding Knuckle Buddy and hugging her. I love you, Trixie. Yeah. <laughs> Boys and girls, that's one of my favorites. Can you think back to the end of the story and tell me what's going on with um, Trixie and her dad and her mom at the end of the story? Tell your reading buddy. If you said they found Trixie in the laundromat and it made Trixie all happy and she said her first words, Nuffle Bunny, then you are correct. You are right. Boys and girls, characters in the story. Do you remember what a character is in the story? Yeah, it's somebody or something, an animal or a person who's in the story that tells the story or is part of the story. That's an important part. Can you think of three characters from the story? Whisper them to your buddy. Yeah, mom and dad and Trixie, they're all characters from the story. I want you to think about Trixie. I want you to think about how she was feeling at the very beginning of the story when they're walking to the laundromat. How was she feeling at the beginning of the story? Yeah, she was pretty happy just walking along with dad. You're right. But what happened in the middle of the story and how did she feel? Think about that and tell me. You're right. In the middle of the story, she lost Nuffle Bunny and she was so sad. Very, very upset. Her, her feelings changed in the middle of the story and she wasn't happy Trixie anymore. Now, what happened at the very end of the story? Whenever she was um, coming home from the laundromat and even when dad and her were talking about the story, at the very end of the story. How'd she feel then? You are right, kindergartners. She was happy again because she had found Nuffle Bunny. I hope you, lo you love this story as much as I did. And we're gonna read another story about Nuffle Bunny later on. Next time you guys tune in, you'll get to hear about Nuffle Bunny too. So I can't wait to see you then. Bye, kindergartners. <laughs>